and welcome to the Vessels of Kingsgrave. Today we're going to be discussing Ice and Fire Con 2017, which took place at, uh, where was it again? Mountain Lake Lodge. Mountain Lake Lodge, <laughs> Mountain Lake Lodge yes, in Virginia, and it was lovely and wonderful and, and very, very drunk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My name is Michal. I go by Ink as Rain on the podcast of Ice and Fire forums. And today I'm joined by a whole bunch of assholes who were also at the convention. This Except is Alex. Amber. Oh. Except for Amber. And Amber. But Amber, I don't know if she's going to say anything. That's up to Amber. <laughs> and Amber appears exactly when it means to. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. I didn't mean to step on you. <clears throat> This is Alex, known as Lucky Charms on the forums. This is Greg, Claudius the Fool on the forums. This is Jasmine, Jazzyman08 on the forums. This is Kev. Um, I'm Kev Wilson, uh, Kev Wills at 83 on the forums. I'm Casey, Blue Eyed Queen on the forums. <laughs> I'm John, Eigenvector John on the forums. This is Zach, alias on the forums. This is Dan, Witless Chum on the forums. Awesome, and we also had vassals Scott and Matt, um, not Varley, a different a different Matt. Um, and am I forgetting anyone else? Well, this is when I meant probably. to uh, arrive. Did you say Chris? Oh, oh, right, and Chris, of course, we had Chris. You mean Scott? I know. This is, never mind. <laughs> that only works. That only works when he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, yes, the convention was attended by many, many vassals and many other people in the Song of Ice and Fire community. It was pretty much a big party, and um, so Kevin actually came from England, which is crazy, because I don't know of anyone else except maybe like a founding father who would come from uh, England to Virginia. He so. just wanted to see me. <laughs> he wanted to see me. It's understandable. It was, it was all you, Greg. He's like, we have to do another uh, Tolkien quiz. He just wanted to tell me that. The, that, was, that was actually my um, introduction to you, wasn't it? It was a case of, I was like, yes, I love the Tolkien quiz. And, you know, when's the next one coming? So. Yeah. Uh, am I really the, the one first one to come from abroad, from England? I mean, no. I, I don't know, but... I thought somebody else was actually there from Wales this year. I thought I heard that. How did, yeah. uh, pop there was an Australian in? guy. Well, Chris was the Australian guy, right. but he was from Denver, wasn't he? So, Kevin, what was your like? What were your like highlights of Ice and Fire Con? Uh, right, okay. Um, um, well, it, it, um, the whole reason for me to go was um, obviously I've been, you know, reading the books and listening to yourselves and a few other people, um, and just getting more engrossed. Um, pretty much every year by it and I just wanted to come along kind of savour the atmosphere and um, get into the whole um, the whole atmosphere um, speaking to a friend about it he actually called it um, almost a pilgrimage um, and that's what, kind of what it felt like a pilgrimage party um, and I wanted to be a part of it so yeah that, that was what that was my whole highlight was again meeting you know the vassals and um, meeting some, you know, some of the other YouTubers such as uh, History of Westeros and um, other podcasters like um, uh, Brendan Beefish uh, and some of them guys. Really, so my my highlight was literally meeting everyone and just socialising and meeting lots of different new people at the same time. Oh, awesome! So I think most of us came from a certain distance away. I know Greg and I. <laughs> How, how long did it take us to drive? Uh, it was like or two hours from me to you, and then 11 hours from you from you to the con. So. Yeah, it was crazy. <clears throat> um, and then however many minutes to get my front door open again. Um. Yeah, do we can tell the story how I broke into Michal's house. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, please. Yeah, yeah, so I was like really nervous at this point, because I was like, I'd never, it's my first time at Ice and Fire Con, and I was just like, ah, what am I doing? I don't know if I should go. And then Greg shows up. He's like, I'll probably be there around 11. He shows up at 11 on the dot. And like, that's wonderful. And I'm like loading my stuff into his car, and I did not take my car keys, which have my house key on them, because... I was going in Greg's car, and then Greg used the bathroom and closed the door, <laughs> so we got locked out of the house. But he... as one would do when you walk out of someone's house and they're outside, oh, just close the door behind me. I 
I thought that was normal. And we had to break in and get back in. Yeah. So but <laughs> yeah, Greg broke in through the window. Outside or? No, I went <laughs> inside. <laughs> <laughs> she was like loading the car up. <clears throat> yeah. But it was fine. It, it, it worked out. It was totally fine. And the screen is fine. So it's okay. <laughs> um, Just a normal day in Queens? Yeah, yeah. A normal, normal day of housebreaking and entering in Queens. Anyway, Casey and Zach, why don't you tell your story of getting ice and fire con? I think that starts with Zach's story of getting okay. to, ice, to DC. <laughs> oh. The story is that I woke up at 4 in the morning, <laughs> went to the airport, flew to DC. The haunted airport. Casey, the haunted, uh, evil Denver airport. He had to pay his the, respects to the horse. Yeah, Lucifer, yeah. the blue evil horse. Uh, I have and... no idea what you people are talking about. <laughs> uh, blue evil horse, Greg. Yes. <laughs> I, I didn't get the Den- memo. At the Denver airport, then met Casey in DC, and we uh, we drove down yep. to Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, and that was our first time meeting each other in person, and so went directly to my apartment and then drove down um, with all of our stuff. And I think that I technically probably have the, or maybe John, I don't know where you are in D.C. or Virginia, but I think I had the least travel time. <laughs> it was, like, it was about like four and a half hours or five. Yeah, you're about 15 minutes shorter than me. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> And John, you brought like the whole family along, or part of the family. I don't know. Well, I, I brought the whole of my family. Unfortunately, we had two cancellations. Talia was supposed to bring two friends, but uh, one had a death in the family, and the other um, had a choir rescheduling of her concert, so that didn't work out. But yeah, I brought my entire family, which is my wife and daughter and I. Uh, my daughter has been to many cons before, but this is the first time at Ice and Fire Con, and my wife and I have been there the last two years. This was our third. Awesome. And let's see, Jasmine, how about you? You also have not such a long trip, right? Yeah, because we live like 40 minutes from the from BWI in Baltimore, so we had to pick up Brian number one. I'm with Brian number two. You'll hear more about the Brian Slater. I and so <laughs> from, from the airport, it was like a five and a half, five hour drive. So yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad, but I was stuck in the car with two Brian's. So you can only imagine how that was. <laughs> and Dan, how far was it from uh, your place? Uh, Google... Google claims that it should only take us nine hours to drive it, but it actually, you know, of course, takes us 11 hours because we're not robots. We, like, stop to eat and things. And your Michigan drivers. (laughs) (laughs) We're not even sure what that implies, but we're just laughing anyway. Yeah. All all three New Yorker, New Jersey people are laughing. (laughs) I think Scott might have had a longer because he came from Canada and he, he actually like stopped overnight, so he might have had longer than us. Oh wow! But I'm not positive. <clears throat> cool. And Alex, you had a long drive also from upstate, right? Yes, I believe it was about uh, eight and a half hours thereabouts. And I had not owned my own car until last summer, and I had only, I think, the farthest I'd ever driven from home was about forty minutes to the eye doctor. So this was quite an adventure. <laughs> You get to see the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> that was why I didn't drive because I mean, Google told me it was like eight hours from my place. Obviously, it took us quite a bit longer than that, which was partly due to just getting out of New York and not. I mean, I cannot even express the traffic that we hit on the GW. Like on the, it was not moving. It was and Greg and I were both sitting there like, well, this was a, definitely a good idea. <laughs> We're going to have so much fun at this convention. Um, but it all worked out. And, yeah, so did everyone get there on Thursday? Because we got there on Thursday night. Yes. Yeah, my, wi- my wife and I got there, and Talia, we got there <laughs> Thursday around uh, 1130 in the morning, actually. We got up at an ungodly hour because we decided we wanted to hike that afternoon. Um, so we got a nice couple hours of walking through the woods in and right before it started to pour. That sounds that just was, hor- horrific. Yeah. <laughs> that was some pretty heavy rain as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But we beat, we beat the, we just got into the bar right as it started to absolutely pour. So so we didn't get wet. 
I um I ended up flying into Virginia um Thursday morning and stopped in Blacksburg. Um and then drove up to the car on on the Friday. Oh, cool. So any stories from Thursday night? We uh for I know a lot of us it was our first our first introduction to secret secret Targaryen. <laughs> Which was John's, uh, I, uh, what's it called? Secret Hitler? It's, yeah, it's a re-theming of Secret Hitler that added character roles that were Game of Thrones inspired. Um, totally unplay tested. so you were really the, well, the, sort of the second group of guinea pigs. I, I ran one play test at my board game group in New York that I have at my mother's house. Um, and we played two rounds of it and didn't really learn a whole lot. I actually... Going through this weekend, I, I need to tweak some rules here and there, but it, I think everyone had a lot of fun who, who, who played it. Yeah. All so we learned on Thursday night is that I am the, the secret target in every, every game. <laughs> I decided that Zach just comes with the game, so like if you start playing again, Zach will just spontaneously appear. It, it makes it a lot easier if you just know that I'm always the secret target. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with that game. I'm not like a big board game person. I pretty much only play board games with you guys at Ice and Fire Con. <laughs> but I, it was by the, you know, by like the second time I played it, I was, you know, at least picking up the, picking up the strategy a little bit and felt like I knew what I was doing. So. Yeah. And so, yeah. I think after really messing up the first game, I really started to get into it. After that. <laughs> um, but my theory, my theory about how I should just be stone faced the entire time and not give up anything to anyone. Didn't the really witless chum out. gambit. Yeah. <laughs> had, had to abandon that, but it was, yeah, it was an idea. Well, you, once people know that you're Targaryen, game's over. But they just had to be uh, better about hiding. That, that's my problem. <clears throat> it's not about Targaryen. Game. I Sorry. mean, it's not so bad if they know if you're the Targaryen. If they know you're the secret Targaryen, it's it's trouble. So th the strategy generally is to basically play the secret Targaryen as if you're a loyalist. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's fun when the Targaryens, like, figure out how to, like, play with each other from afar and, like, strategize. <laughs> like, you know, not strategize, but, like, figure it out. I think yeah. I did that a couple times with who, a few. Who yeah. was the guy dressed as Duncan on Friday night? And uh, that is the. Um... His name is Andrew, the lawyer. Andrew, okay. Because he he pulled okay. a pretty cool con. Yeah, he convinced... by assuming I was the Targaryen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right to assume, but wrong in that case. Is this a good point to um, ask Greg um, how no. my first game went? We're not at Saturday night yet, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody like building a, a an arc or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think somebody's playing with blocks. <laughs> no judgment. I have Legos in my house. <laughs> well, anyway, yes, yeah, so we played that Which the first of us night. Don't have Legos in our house. Well, I don't think I have Legos in my house anymore. Greg doesn't he's have anything fun at his house. Just a chinchilla. <laughs> I have some GI. I have some GI Joe figures. Does that count? <clears throat> I don't uh, know. Amber is, is asking what secret Hitler was in the chat. We should probably just like give a general rundown of how that works. Okay, so somebody who understood the game better than I did. John. Okay, so basically... Or the men who invented it. John, why don't you tell uh, us about I, it? I did not invent secret Hitler, please. I don't remember the names of the people who did, but I give them complete uh, credit for that. Um, so basically, in the game, you have two factions... There's a faction of loyalists and a faction of Targaryens, um, and the Targaryens know who each other are, and the loyalists are a bunch of dunces who don't realize that there's an attempted coup happening. Um, and then there's one specific secret Targaryen who is they're trying to put on the throne, and basically through a series of uh, how to describe it, um, uh, voting. A series of votes, you built, you uh, establish governments, and those governments pass. Um, well, in, in this particular version of the game, you're trying to recruit houses to your cause, and if you recruit enough houses to your cause, you win. That's and it's a lot of lying, scheming, and uh, and um, 
and skulking, according to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and, we and basically... And... Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, like, we played it on Thursday night a couple times. We were all pretty chill about it. And then Amin showed up on Friday night, and it became a completely different game. It got real. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as Amin joined the, joined the game. And, and John had to explain the rules, like, 20 times, because we sucked it. At yeah. It, so. Yeah, but Zach, you got pretty good at, like, if John wasn't there, you were the guy who told us to close our eyes. So. <laughs> <laughs> you picked up I learned how to do that. <laughs> cool. So anything else to say about Thursday? Well, I hang out with the party crowd. I'm not one of the cool kids like you guys. <laughs> yes, the board game crowd was the cool kids. <laughs> we'll go with yeah, that. <laughs> so, so um, our I, last year, me and the Bryans, we unofficially started a tradition where we went to like, um, a, like a liquor store and we found this bottle of tequila that's a skeleton. It's named the brand is called Skelly. So we bought it because I don't know. It, we thought it was funny. So we started a tradition officially where Thursday night we all get drunk off of the skeleton uh, tequila. So I think next year we're actually going to come in and and wear uh, skeleton costumes on Thursday night. And Brian even made like a banner and a sigil for House Skelly of Skeleton. Is that so, where that came from? Okay. Yes. <laughs> all right. You're on the Facebook group and you're like, who is Skelly? And I'm like, no, because it's like this really cool bottle of tequila. It's kind of expensive too, It's but it's pretty good tasting tequila if you guys want to try it i know dan had some i saw him yes. at chicago boys cabin you guys should all stop by chicago boys cabin if you you know because they always have plenty of booze and good times and this year they brought like their emulator so we were playing like nes games too it was very odd but yeah that was th thursday night was chill we were just doing some volunteer stuff and then mainly drinking skelly so that was that was my thursday <laughs> awesome um, yes. Yeah, sis, my my sister and I, yeah, we we went and swung by the, I guess it was the Chicago Boys cabin. I didn't actually know whose it was, but definitely the party cabin and tried the uh, tried the Skelly and we also tried uh, good old uh, the uh, the good old moonshine that always shows up from Southern Ohio. Yes, delicious moonshine. Was that the cabin <laughs> right by the uh, by the tourney? No. No, oh, it was like up the hill. <laughs> The front of the chess area. Oh, okay. Isn't moonshine illegal? Mm. Only if you sell it. Ah. It's not illegal to make, it's only illegal to distribute. Then again, this was Virginia. So. <laughs> In 1922, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we, were in a dry, we, we, were, we were in a dry county, though, so. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Apparently only the reason local. everyone comes up to Mountain Lake is because they have seafood and they have booze. Um, but yeah, so Friday, who wants to get us started on Friday? The con officially kicked off, like, around noon? Yeah. Uh, a little earlier with some meetups, but I can't remember what the meetups were, because they weren't, they weren't these oh, meetups. So there was, there this was, was our gaming. hike, this was the first hike we did, right? To the oh, um, oh, Bob's yeah, we did Knob, that or whatever it was called? Yeah. The second hardest trail in the entire <laughs> reservation. I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I started this hike because it sounded fun. It was like, oh, you walked to the top of the mountain. It's so pretty. And, like, again, can't really express how high up Mountain Lake is. Like, you are above the clouds. It's pretty creepy. Um, and then I was, like, the last one in the row by, like, a good bunch of feet. And I was like, this is not going to get any better. I'm going back to my room. <laughs> It just says a short but steep and direct trail to the highest point on the mountain and most expensive overlook. Red blaze. I don't know what the blaze means, but there's a blaze for each trail. I mean, it's actually <clears throat> only about a half a mile, but it's straight up. It didn't. It felt like two miles. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit of a baby, though. I, all the everybody, like Kristen, his wife, or I, I think her name was Angie, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Chris and Angie uh, climbed the whole thing. Like they were, they kept on waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're fit. We're from Australia. We're, we're not like fit Americans. I'm like, guys, Hold on. Go. Al Alex, what, what were your and Alex had flip flops? On. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was wearing flip flops. Smart, <laughs> and he did so much better than me. So. <laughs> Chris was like trying to talk to me about like book collecting. I was like, I just, I can't, I can't just wait for the way down. 
<laughs> you keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the beginning of Casey's. Uh, so it's okay. You don't have to wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But it was really pretty at the top. We took some cool pictures. Um, it was cool to be above the cloud line and like actually see the clouds and stuff. Um, yeah. And bugs. Everybody's oh, bugs. The, lots of bugs. Thanks for reminding me. So many bugs. When did you guys go up? I, we, I went up three times and never saw a bug. <laughs> they were everywhere. <laughs> it's like right after breakfast on yeah, Friday. Like 10 or so. 10 to 11-ish. It was like, imagine the movie Birds, but with bugs. <laughs> okay, now I'm really <laughs> glad I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I think uh, anyone else want to say, I guess, Kevin, you came in on that morning. Yeah, I came up with my um, sister who wasn't at the con, but um, came up, got registered, um, and then I ended up coming back around about four-ish. I think by the time I got back, the meetup was happening, um, the Podcast of Ice and Fire meetup, which is where I just kind of slunk into the corner and sat down and listened to Amin and yourselves um talking really that's where i jumped in at the con really ah cool so I yeah think the first yeah. official event was the gaming meet and greet yeah, oh, yeah and ironically i didn't even show up for that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i obviously had nothing to do with that um <laughs> anyone else did we go to that i don't even remember that... i didn't go to it I know some of you guys did the icebreaker activities that was after that. Well, yeah. yeah so I know I know that um, Casey and Zach were making their costumes in our room, and hey. then I was like, I'm gonna go make a and poster. I, I want to just say that Casey was making Zach's okay, costume. No, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Casey was making Zach's <laughs> costume. Watch Casey. <laughs> don't give Zach any credit. <laughs> Please don't. Look, Zach really pulled it off. I have to say, he did. He did. <laughs> The role. Yeah, yeah, but Casey had paint markers, and those started to smell quite strongly, so I was like, I'm gonna go make a poster downstairs. Um, <laughs> and, like, ubiquitous to the entire weekend, at least for me, was the Game of Thrones, not Ice and Fire trivia, that, like, people were just playing wherever I went, so they were playing that also when I went down to make my poster. Um, and I made a Sansa Stark poster, and I wrote, like, hashtag I'm with her, and I tried to make the arrows in her name, and nobody got it, and I totally lost the election. But whatever, that's that totally fine. <laughs> well, well I, I, I entered Tormund Giants Bane for the second year in a row, and, you know, I thought he stands tall at the wall, but, uh, I, I got cheated out of it last year by someone who will go nameless, but he's on the <laughs> Yeah, there were consequences for that this year. Is this the ballot stuffing that I've heard so much about? Yes. I'm sorry, Tara didn't think of it. It was me and Brian. I wanted to win. I came in third the year prior. We just wanted to win. We just found 1,700 unique names. There's nothing wrong with that. No, now it just costs money to enter the election. I must admit, it was so audacious, it was great. You gotta play Game in, in hindsight, John, uh, maybe you should have gone along the, the, the bear route and how much uh, Tormund loves bears. You might have got a few extra votes then. Well, I did mention that, that he stood tall at the wall. He stands tall with a bear, but in one of my on one of my posters, but, you know, it didn't win. I think he's retired now. Two, a two-time loser, you can't get the nomination after that. I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Who who ended up winning? Was it was it Littlefinger? Oh, okay. Littlefinger won. Littlefinger won. Oh, I Jennings wanted... Bryan run for president like nine times. So you should have got a couple more. <laughs> I in think your... he ran twice, maybe three times. Yeah, but my favorite was the Shaggy Doge. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was my daughter's favorite as well. <laughs> yeah. So then after that, we did the. Uh, kind of the announcements and the icebreaker and we played bingo and like we're trying to learn people's names except I didn't realize that, that was the point so I didn't write anyone's name on my bingo card <laughs> good job <laughs> I just I was the, winning the, the whole game time on the, face, the name on the forehead game whatever that's called who am oh, I oh that was fun yeah that was yeah. fun that was except, I was, except I was Ramsey Bolton <laughs> <laughs> I still I, have uh, an older fray 
Yeah, still I, have I, that. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I stuck mine on the back of my badges, so I still have those. But I, I really felt like an idiot because I was playing that game for forever with Ashea from History of Westeros, yeah. and even though she kept asked, standing there saying things, asking questions, I never like recognized her voice. <laughs> Wait, that's her. Yeah, I, I put my Walder Frey on my badge, and then when I introduced, I, I, I was seeing Pasha at dinner, I was like, oh, Pasha, good to see you. He's like, Walder Frey, what is this? <laughs> it's, like, <"What's> this? <laughs> this is from a, it's from a game from before. <laughs> you know, everyone's going to think Pasha's Irish, though. <laughs> I heard the Russian. There's a little I Russian. Russian. A little Russian, okay. <laughs> but I was like, no, absolutely It not. sounded more Irish. <laughs> oh, jeez. It was better than his Australian, anyway. <laughs> He's lived in St. Louis for a long time, so he could sound Irish. Um, yeah, so then what What was next? Like, the future of the Stark Children panel was what I did. And that was yes, fun. Yes, I, w- I was there, yeah, too. I, I think we were there late because we had lunch. We missed the half of it. Yeah, that, that's a theme at every ice <laughs> we were eating and we, we were eating and we missed something. <clears throat> Yeah, but it was kind of funny because you could tell they really wanted to get to Sansa, but there wasn't enough time, so they basically, like, did everyone except Sansa. Right, didn't they only have five minutes for Sansa? And yeah. I, and that's probably the biggest discussion point, so it was weird. I think well, I was well, eating at that point, so I also did not uh, did not get to the future I of the Stark Children. This was, like, at one o'clock, right? No, the panel was at two. Okay, the panel was at two. Yeah, so the, uh, what was after the panel, though? I... I, I I was at the um, panel, that was the I... Ice and Fire Con meetup or the stage combat class. Podcast of Ice and Fire meetup. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So that's where. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then that was the podcast of Ice and Fire meetup where I'm assuming we all went. <laughs> we, we <laughs> Otherwise, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Scott, uh, Scott showed up too, I believe. Scott oh. Walter. And- and you didn't yeah. know he was there the whole weekend? I did, I did not connect Scott <laughs> and Sky Walter the entire nice, week. Uh, Canadian who's trying to weasel his way into all our circles. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I really wouldn't have changed any of my behavior in terms of making fun of Canada. So <laughs> um, well, you were already planning to make fun of Canada because of Amin and Ashley, right? This is true, yeah. Yeah. And just because of, you know, Stephen who I considered there in spirit any time yes. Scott showed up and was wearing his Canada shirt. He was wearing oh, a Canada, Canada shirt and a Blue Jays hat. Yeah. Yes. He was really Blue asking Jays. for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Ice and Fire meetup was really nice. The podcast meetup was really nice. Um, any, I'm any curious highlights how that compares. One? I'm curious how that compares to ones in previous years. Just out of curiosity. Well, it was more more people this year. It was three yeah. times the size. I yeah, mean, we first, normally have a small contingent. I mean, the first year was like four or five people. Yeah, we had one year, table. <laughs> it was just one little circle table. Yeah, and la- and last year it was maybe eight, and then this year it was like a whole room. Oh wow! Last year was where we couldn't find it. Because it was supposed to be in like the atrium of the bar or something. Don't mm-hmm. I? Am I, am I well, we had, yeah. well, we, no, we had it in the atrium of the bar. It was just loud. Yeah, it, it was pushed just loud. Up to the side. <laughs> we had to move furniture around. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that was funny. Oh, Maybe I just like... had a hard time finding it. But it was still like eight or nine people. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like this one where it was virtually a whole room full of people. Yeah, I was surprised how many people there were, I guess. I mean, some people were probably just hanging out, but yeah, I guess there's just a lot of podcast of Ice and Fire peeps. I'd like to think it'd be okay uh, brought some people to it as well. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I mean, for, for me, as a as a listening to like you guys and stuff, um, it was a case of um, I was listening to voices and finally putting like faces to voices. Right? So it was quite strange for me that way. Yeah, Kev, yeah. like, he um, turned around, he's like, Blue-Eyed Queen, and I was like, oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> I kept having that with um, Jeff Hartline, Brendan Meefish, because, um, like, he has just a really distinctive voice, and I, like, I was just, I was like, I can't believe you exist in real life, you're just, like, a Twitter troll. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brendan Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about Aziz's voice? That's distinct. Oh, yeah, he has yeah. a great voice. The International Man of Mystery. Aziz was the Aziz and Jeff was the first people I met apart from uh, Don the Crack and Wit driving past me on a golf cart. Um, so <laughs> yeah, just all over the place. Um, yeah, I was just I, I saw both of them went over to kind of say hi and realised oh it's Aziz um, as well. So they were like the first ones I kind of ran into really. Yeah, and Ashley was wearing. Which costume was it? It was she was Allery Hightower, I think. Yeah, I think yeah on Friday. Yeah, um, and she is as good at cosplay as as advertised. That was a very <laughs> impressive costume. I was just like really intimidated by by her like <laughs> incredible dress. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. We we did. I noticed there were like a couple of like pauses where everybody was like. We'll just sit quietly now. <laughs> but it was all good. It was all good. Um, we'll edit this out in post. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I don't know. What happened after that? It was the board games, I think. It oh, right. Yes. Setup. Yeah, the board games were set up very carefully in the meetup room. And it was like, please do not touch these games. <laughs> we also had was next, Food Feast was on Friday, so... Yeah, the thing I missed that I really wanted to go was the bad fanfic, which it was the same time. Right? <clears throat> it was the same time as the board game tournament, I think, unfortunately. So I could only do one, and I do the board games because that's what I do. <laughs> but I, I'm disappointed I missed the bad fanfic, and if anyone has copies of it, I want to see them. Yeah, the ban- bad fanfic was actually amazing. <laughs> it was yeah. really, really funny. Um, so what what you did was basically you had to pick two names out of a hat and write a fanfic for them. So Casey and I got Ned and um what's his what's Yaron his fish? Greyjoy. Yeah, you're on great. No, no, no Bayline, Bayline Greyjoy, right. Yeah, so that was uh that was fun. Um and then you guys, Zach, you did like a whole thing, right? It was Dan, <laughs> Alex, Nancy and me. Yeah, and it was it was mostly them. I was just I was mostly him. <laughs> if you guys want to explain what we did. <laughs> uh well, Alex, if I remember correctly, Alex came up with the uh, the, the character name of G-Rated Euron. Because we got the paper and we were like, oh, we have Euron and Theon. And then, you know, you, you read the rules and it's like, you know, no, you know, it's like nothing, uh, basically no, no non-consent and all this stuff. And we're like, this basically outlaws Euron Greyjoy's entire character. So that was our idea. So we just went with that and with G-Rated Euron rescuing Theon. And then what followed was, how can we make this as absurd as possible? <laughs> but they did it like a script, so it was actually really funny. Cause they oh, kept yeah. Popping was, up I don't remember whose idea that was, but that was a great idea. So we, because we just read it out like, like a play. Yeah, but none of us won because they were better people than us. It was, well, the, yeah. I can't remember the guy's name who won, but he won entirely because of the performance. Was it yeah, was that, Jamie not really won? into it? With yeah. the whispering yeah, wood? The, the Jamie yes. Rob one was that the yes. is that the Davos fingers guy? I don't know. I think it, it was, is, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've never listened to that podcast, but it makes sense. No, me it was neither, a, but that it was, was really funny. Stellar performance, very yeah. high quality. But isn't he an actor anyway? Is it Scott from Davos fingers? Oh, is he an actor? I uh, I think he he's I think they said something about him doing some sort of acting or stand up possibly. He did well in the improv the next day. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think that's why they sent him up. Which, uh, which one was he? Um. He was the guy in the Davos fingers shirt. <laughs> oh, uh, the improv. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, he had kind he of. He was like, like he played the knight who like got hit in the head during the tourney. I thought oh, he was. Oh no, he kept falling asleep. I thought he got like knocked. Sir Hugh. Sir Hugh. Sir Hugh. Yeah, and then, um, I can't remember her name, but, uh, one of the girls did, like, a My, My Immortal, um, 
Yeah, it was really funny. Was that the was that the Ariane? Yes, uh, yeah, the girl she, in the Ariane. She won, didn't she? Yeah, she won. Yeah, yeah. Um, there were a couple winners, but yeah, we're gonna have to step up our game next year because uh, my favorite line was still definitely, "I would have you by my side," said Doran goutily. <laughs> oh, yeah, <they're> <laughs> is that because they had to work gout in somewhere, or it just goes? No, just that's the only defining trait of Doran's character is he's gouty. <laughs> <laughs> said it definitely. Uh, so did anyone do uh, stage combat? I think we're all at the meetup. I wow, guess. we're all so athletic yeah. and cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I remember climbed a that fucking was... mountain. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I did kind of circle by that way and sit out there for a bit and watch one of the Bryans, was it? The one that was dressed as Oberyn. He was directing it all and trying to teach everyone how to take a punch, take a hit, kind of have their hair pulled and without getting hurt and how to act it out. I so was kind I, of I disappointed. I saw a little bit. Sorry. I no, didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I was just kind of disappointed that those were at the same time. Like, obviously, I was going to go to the podcast of Ice and Fire meetup, but um, I wanted to participate in that as well. Yeah, yeah I, went and, I went and did that last year. It was It was pretty fun. Um, let's so do you guys see. want to give the rundown on the Friday board game stuff? Mistakes were made, but I somehow made it into the final game. <laughs> As did I. And Scott yeah. probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even see that game, but apparently they had uh, quite an epic game where uh, Scott came from behind, right? What, was it Took some sort of tie? Yeah, it was a three-way tie in the other game. But he won in the tiebreaker, or he he actually didn't win. He got the second slot, because the each right. uh, there were two boards going on for the tournament, and the top two made it to the finals. In yeah, game. Anisha from that table, I believe it was her first time playing really, and uh, she uh, she made she got to the final game. <clears throat> I felt bad for Chris because he, he was like, "This is this is insane. This has never happened before." <laughs> but was... Aww. Yeah, it should be noted also that Amin is not allowed to play, <laughs> to compete in the, <laughs> in the board game tournament anymore. Um, let's see, what else happened? Uh, did anyone do Snark and Grumpkins? Not this year. Yeah, I didn't realize it was like a scavenger hunt, because that sounded fun. But I didn't oh, that's why these people came in and asked uh, Amin for his picture. And he was like, no! It's a scavenger hunt. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. yeah. We were, we were at dinner when that was happening, I think. Okay. <laughs> they could just take a picture of the back of his head like he does all the time. Still count. Um, and yeah, did anyone do the photo shoot hour? Or, no. I didn't, obviously. But... Did the seafood feast... <laughs> Right, so yeah, I, I went to the History of Westeros meetup, and I think everybody else went and ate seafood. <laughs> How was the History of Westeros meetup? It was fun. It was fun. It was a lot of discussion, and um, a lot of, like, what, you know, there was a big conversation on, like, what what show, what kind of spinoff they should make. And then, of course, we recently got the news that they're working on four <laughs> spinoffs. <laughs> so it was like, I guess they really liked all of the ideas that were floated in this meetup. <laughs> <laughs> they stole them from us. I yeah. hope Shea's idea comes true about a Nymeria show. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah, that would be really cool. Like she's always been a big. Nymeria? Yeah, yeah, she's always been a big fan of the the dawn and. Um... Yeah, she asked that question to George every time. Every time I'm with the Shea, she's like, "George, what was the Princess of Dawn's name?" <laughs> and he never tells her. This has like happened three or four times now. <laughs> I feel so bad, but. <laughs> Which princess of Dorne is she asking about? Uh, Doran's mom. Like, ah. mom of Elia and, uh, you know, Oberyn and yeah. stuff. Gotcha. Do we never you find know. out? No, it's just prince. It just says princess of Dorne, and it's driving her crazy. <laughs> well, it's driving me crazy, too, but, like, it's really weird. If you look, it, like, doesn't say what her name is, like, at all. I'm sure, uh, uh, Elio knows. <laughs> Elio probably wrote her name but <clears throat> anyway um, so how was seafood guys it was amazing um, it was an experience like we all dressed up <laughs> for it 
It literally really smelled like, like fish. Art. Like, I gotta say, I went down into the lobby, which was right by the dining room, and I was like, oh my god, it smells like fish. It was really good. Like, Keith, like, did the full-on dress-up, because he did the whole House Keltgar, and, like, I had my Brian design House Keltgar mashed with um, the, um, the Maryland flag, but now he's <laughs> nice. like, Jazz, we should have just done House Crab, and I'm like, how did we not think of House Crab? I was so Aww. upset. I was like really upset but no the seafood feast was amazing i can see why everyone in that area comes there because it was just like it was perfect they are all they were all staring at us like what are these weirdos doing dressed up for crabs I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well there were definitely a lot of people who expected uh their their regular seafood or alcohol jaunt to be normal um and it wasn't <laughs> that weekend at all they yeah, they spent in. all last year talking about us. Apparently, we were the, the witches at the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, okay, so no, this year, apparently, all... somebody called us Satan, Satanists or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy who was dressed Whatever. up as King Richard was telling us about uh, some old lady got freaked out by one of the Dothraki guys who had, like, no shirt on. And, and <laughs> oh, he was dressed, yeah, he was dressed it, up he was as like... the mountain, and he had oh, the mountain. blood, blood <laughs> yeah. smeared all over him. Yeah, so they you, think him we're walking by was the was the last straw. <laughs> <laughs> she said she said something about how we're we're going back to Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Come she on, said in Godly Philadelphia. Philadelphia is definitely the safe place. <laughs> yeah. well, I was gonna say there's far more violence in Philadelphia than there is in Game of Thrones. Have they been to an Eagles game? <laughs> 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 or a Phillies game or a Flyers game. The Flyers are definitely Satan. <laughs> um so did anyone go to the reader as character because i didn't get to that panel i did i was there as well i was really excited for that because i've been uh i've been reading emmett booth's uh poor quentin his stuff for years um i just love his essays he's he has an excellent mind yeah i really like his essays too because you know he he focuses much more on the the literary analysis end of it as opposed to the you know like imagining you know it's fun to imagine that this is real and like you know figure out who had more troops at the battle of the green four analysis stuff is that he does is really fun and i really appreciate you know so that was one of the highlights for me too he was the he was the guy who was there from the um from whatchamacallit more than politics yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. He was here on that day. Oh, okay. And with, like, the Eye of Sauron shirt, which I thought was perfect. Yeah, like, disco you're on. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I forgot to say, during the History of Westeros meetup, um, it was right next to the ballroom, and the manimals were doing their sound check. And Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... We had to like yell over the sound check to like talk to each other. It was very funny. <laughs> so all I did the rest of that day was like come down later and play board games. So did anyone like go to the party to the White Knight? <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I helped uh, yeah. set it up um, with the with my Brian, Brian three, and Ashley, and we all like it was a fun time. We all. Well, the theme was, you know, what is dead may never die. So we all dressed as dead characters or mostly dead characters. So I was, I was Leanna. Didn't realize I looked like Wayne from Wayne's World because my Brian looked like Garth from Wayne's World. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he was going for like Kurt, Co Kurt Codain, but whatever. We just said we were Wayne and Garth and we went with it. But it was, there were some great costumes. I, um. I can't even think of all the cool costumes that there were on White Knight, but there were some pretty clever ones, though. I don't know if this one qualified as great, oh my this God. was mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I didn't like, why does he have a plate on his head? <laughs> Dan, do you yeah, want to explain your of, costume? I was Frey Pie. I had a pie plate on my head and a Frey shirt on and a uh, necklace of carrots, of course. <laughs> as you do. So yeah, I was I, I was happy I was happy that you know some people some people were, like looked at me and were like Frey Pie oh, immediately good. like KK did that yeah it took me well, a really long time to figure that out <laughs> but 
but I mean, you know, I was just like, only at Ice and Fire Con is anybody getting that. So I was, uh, <laughs> I was very stoked that that happened. But yeah, the 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 party was the the party with the Manimals was super fun. I really, I had I had actually gotten their album, you know, months ago when KK had talked, you know, I talked about them on Facebook, and it's really good. And their previous album's pretty good too. Although I guess that's a slightly different lineup. So they've had two Game of Thrones albums, or just one? No, the and... first one. The first one does not have anything to do with Game of Thrones, but it's the same, you know, same style of music, of course. So I think is, I that all, is that also genre related, or is that just music? It's just music. Just music, darn. <laughs> <laughs> Although she does. One guy introduced himself as the Bear, and that was his name. Didn't get his real name. He was just the Bear, and I'm like, okay, cool, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 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 just music, but she does like drop lines like, "If I had a DeLorean in the middle of like a love song," so it's it's a little geeky. Nice, very nice. But the show was really great. They put on a great show. Plus, yeah, it was, it was Game super of Thrones fun. Them, so, were all the songs yeah, they the... same or? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, the only disappointment I had in it was that the sound was not so great. It, it didn't. You couldn't make out the lyrics as well as I would have liked. Yeah, I... they started the bonfire pretty early as well, didn't they? So, I think a few people went out to the bonfire early. After the after the manimals got over, I uh, I wandered. I I think I I think I went and tried to play Secret Targaryen with you guys for a while, but I was you know half in the bag. So I was like, wait, what? What's happening? I'm a who? <laughs> you played brilliantly. You had me fooled. Then. <laughs> <laughs> then I just wandered out to the bonfire, and then I ended up talking to my sister, and I ended up talking to Brendan B. Fish, who was being Brendan B. Fish in real life too. So he introduced himself to Nancy as the uh, the leading the leading uh, direwolf erotica blogger. Pew <laughs> <laughs> pew. <laughs> Yeah, he he does not drop the act. He really does. I don't think it's an act. <laughs> Is that similar to dinosaur porn? <laughs> but with direwolves. <laughs> oh my god! I just refreshed my Twitter feed, and the top tweet is somebody whose handle is Stannis AF tweeting to Brendan, "You're a terrorist." Oh my god, I just saw that. <laughs> Anything else from Friday night? Oh, we played, what did we play earlier? We played Exploding Kittens and... Oh, uh, Hand of the King. Hand of the King. Yeah, I did like the, uh, um, whatchamacallit, Hand of the King game. Um, Exploding Kittens, not so much, because that was just weird. Graphic drawings. <laughs> no, it was weird because last year they didn't have the bar, the extra bar down in the ballroom, so there was always busy upstairs. So we're like, oh, we're gonna go play board games for a little bit, and we took the game up. <laughs> there was nobody upstairs. It was just like us and the bartender. <laughs> and, but then we went back down and where everybody was. But uh, yeah, we played a nice quiet game of uh, Hand of the Kitten or Hand of the King, <laughs> Exploding Kitten. Hand of the Exploding Kitten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. 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 Also, I almost won King Exploding game? Kittens, and then. Alex took it from me. A master play that I can't remember. That was very annoying. He saved me too, and he didn't have to because he had two. I uh, got a I got a double, one. and then I stole a skip, and I sent it to Michal, and I. Yeah, won. and I I saved you at one point early in the game. I canceled a thing on you, and then Zach and Casey over in the corner of evil just redid it, and. <laughs> I didn't understand the game. I thought it was like Uno, so I thought the goal was to clear your hand. <laughs> Uh, which was nice. It's the like, opposite. It's the opposite of every card game because you draw at the end, not the beginning. I was pretty drunk by that point, so I was like, "Zach's got this. this we're good." Oh, don't, don't, <laughs> don't ever put your faith in him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, did anyone go out to the bonfire or anything? I just, I just thought my room was burning down because I had lit two tiny little candles and kept smelling smoke and was like, there's no way they're coming from the two little candles! There's just no way! <laughs> no, the, bon the bonfire was pretty cool, although I, I remember it being, uh, it was a little windy, so that if you got if you were in the wrong place, you'd get showered with sparks sometimes. Oh, That but sounds violent. People seem, to, people seem to take it in stride. <laughs> 
it, it didn't seem to matter which side you stood either, did you? You could no, stand at any side and. Yeah. Hmm. I, yeah. I got talking to Jim, for, uh, which is um, something like a lawyer. Um, he um, he can talk a lot about um, the battles and stuff like that as well. So he likes talking about all that stuff. Maybe a little yeah, bit too much. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a good chat with Jim at the bonfire too. Yeah, yeah. I think I might have been there with you at the time. Yeah. Yeah, there was yeah there was a bunch of us standing around sort of at one end. Mm. I think that was probably. But I don't think I had, about... I don't think I'd met you yet at that point, so I was just like accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. Was we was he talking about um, the Blackfire Rebellion? Was it that one? And he was talking about the different theories. Oh, um, I can't remember, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's the the nice he was talking about that. Not really, um, the different ways that Fireball went and uh, how it differed from Stefan Sasse's um, version of events. The only thing I noticed about Jim is that when he's podcasting, he has such a measured, even pace when he's speaking, but in person, he talks <laughs> twice as fast. Like his mouth can barely <laughs> keep up with his brain. <laughs> I almost yeah, he... wonder if he slows this podcast down. Which, which podcast is Jim on? He's on Wars History of Westeros. Oh, he's the world oh, yeah. father. Okay. But he's on well, yeah, History although, of Westeros think... sometimes. And... He, has his, he also has his own podcast about military history not related to Song of Ice and Fire that I listen to. Oh, is it good? I, I like it. I mean, he's only he's only done four or five episodes by this point, but his, like he did one about the Battle of Cowpen <laughs> that was really good. and Cowpen's been... <laughs> Why, what Speaking of, I guess we should say: Does anyone have any good like podcast recommendations for like that you listen to on the way down, or, or I guess on the way well, back? That one we started listening to, me the "Hello from the Magic Tavern." Uh-huh. I'm on like episode 15, and I almost peed myself laughing today. It's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the name of it? It's called "Hello from the Magic Tavern." It's an improv podcast where this guy like pretends to have fallen into a Narnia type world, and he's interviewing characters there. But it's all just improv and comedians. Uh, but the episode of uh, what's the guy's name? An imp named Pimbley Nimblebottom is my favorite episode. <laughs> <laughs> episode number nine, I believe. Uh, but it's def- it's hilarious. It's good if you like fantasy or just comedy in general. And I would I like to note that I called the twist in episode two. Yes, you did. <laughs> well, if you want comedy, but on a more somewhat serious note, I listened to the Bugle, which is. Originally John Oliver's podcast, but now it's his old partner Andy Salzman with just generic random comedians from around the world. It's pretty funny. There's the one that um, Jeff has just started uh, jumping on sometimes, which is the Meister Monthly one. That's random the, the the Reddit podcast for the, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. I, I say I, I subscribe to it. I haven't really listened to any yet, but. Um, that's one that he kind of recommended. So. Yeah, I mean, anybody else want to note anything from oh, Friday? Just, just hung out in Chicago Boys Cabin again. <laughs> <laughs> Played more NES and drank more stuff. They had like, was some it... kind of juice. I don't know. They There were ants in their cabin oh. on like Friday. <laughs> But it was fun. It was the the Friday night the one where we did the um, TV show quiz as well? And we learned how high the Tower of Dawn was? Yeah, that was... (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, the the Tower of Dawn. No, obviously Sunspear. What was the the thing that Amin got wrong also on Thursday night about Zaro? Dock workers. Yeah. He didn't know that yeah. Zara was a dock worker, and he never let us forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> I love when Amina's wrong. Like when Me you beat too. him in Hearthstone. He's always like, that was a mistake on my part. I'm like, I don't know. Do <laughs> Please just beat Amina at something, and just he'll, he'll hate it forever. Yeah. So, anyway, Saturday, um, I guess the schedule. Did anyone get anything from the vendor room? Yeah, I bought a Baratheon pillow, which is very nice, and I bought some uh, 
a present for someone who's on the podcast that hasn't got their present yet, so I don't want to say what it is. And it's uh, someone who wasn't there, but she might not even be listening. Anyway, I bought some cool stuff. Uh, who could it be? Stuff. I <laughs> wonder. Well, some stuff. I, I, you get some stuff, Amber. <laughs> my daughter and I posed for Raven photographs. Oh, swag. Oh, fun. Yeah. I took a Raven photograph too. Yeah, that was fun. I was like, can I pet it? He's like, would you pet a three-year-old? I was like, no, okay. That's <laughs> 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 funny comeback. I didn't realize how big they were. Yeah, I was, was kind of intimidated. Huge. I think it was yeah. scary. <clears throat> what was its name I... again? Bishop. Well, oh, right. The, the, the fact they had re- real pelts for you to wear was sort of interesting. It was very hardcore. Yeah, I ended up buying a um, one of the... Uh, necklaces. Um, it was it was like a heart tree, I believe, and yeah, it was, it's really pretty. I like it. Um, did anyone go to the uh, university meetup? Yes. How was that? I mean, I went to well because their meetup ran late, and we, I was going to the Reddit meetup, so it went like fifteen minutes over. So I kind of got an idea what Southwest Fire Un- University was about a little bit. It was. What pretty- is it about? Well, they were just talking about their Tumblr and like kind of how it started and everything. So, um, and how they get ideas and kind of where they see, you know, just kind of how she had to like stop turning off anonymous questions because she get has like hundreds of questions and stuff and just everything. It was it was really interesting because I had never really heard of them before because I only heard of like the podcast people, not like Tumblr people. Yeah, I had I had read them on and off, but it was really interesting to hear like the to hear the history and and she said that originally they had like tried this whole shtick where they it couched everything in terms of professors and universities and stuff, but that only lasted like a couple months, but they just kept the name. But yeah, I, I think I had followed over I think I had followed a link from Port Quentin or something to check that out and you know, read pages and pages of it when I was supposed to be working. <laughs> yeah, I remember when um, I was still on Twitter. Nobody suspects the butterfly kind of like blew up. Tumblr, not Twitter. Tumblr. I was still on Tumblr. Sorry, I am still on Twitter. I am not still on. Tumblr. I'm like Twitter all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I've quit Twitter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> how many Twitter windows do I even have open right now? Like a lot. But <laughs> um, anyway. Um, yeah, so, no, Tumblr is its own scary realm, but yeah, no, I rem- remember when they, like, kind of started that, but didn't really, yeah, I didn't really follow it that much. But it was intimidating, because, like, later on, on Saturday, um, Dan and I and Nancy were playing trivia at their table, and I was like, great, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we're screwed. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, it was like Butterfly, Poor Quentin, and I didn't. I don't know who the other who the other woman was. Yeah, me neither. But, yeah, I didn't feel good about our chances Not there. So much. I think Aziz actually won. Yeah, they 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 won, but also I think the team Butterfly won also. Team University. Yeah, one one won, and the other was second. I I contend that we we must have been third. Absolutely. No, Team Kev Team Kev came third, right? The yeah, somehow me and Chris the UK, won. Okay, Australia the, Alliance. Oh, yeah, the actual trivia, yeah. I graded that. There were some really, really funny answers. I was in tears. It was so funny. (laughs) Oh, my God. When you guys didn't know, you guys were just like, okay, I'll just put Hogwarts houses. Like, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Or or someone actually put Never Gonna Give You Up as, like, the song. I was just dead. It was so funny. So funny. I was I personally... still don't remember the Shield Islands. I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> everyone made up. Everyone knew like um, okay, okay Shield, Shield, I think, and and no one else knew all the other ones. People were just guessing colors like Gold Shield. We definitely right. knew Oak and Shield. Yeah, that's what's weird though. Is they're all any different of them. things. It's like <laughs> South Shield, Oak Shield, Green Shield. It's like there's no pattern to it at all. So. Well, I, I think there's a Shield pattern, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> shield thing. Um, I was I was kind Brilliant. of. Wow. happy that like at one point I, I think it was the gates of king's landing question so we'd run out of gates and i was like just do bb gate <laughs> <laughs> i was proud of that i, think I, I don't I think, think i, I actually else thought it was funny <laughs> you did yeah <laughs> um but yeah so um yeah so saturday started off with the 
I don't know. Did anybody do anything else, like hiking or anything weird on Saturday morning? Yeah, John, I mean, we John went up the mountains, yeah. Cool. Well, Casey and Alex went on a swing set for some reason. <laughs> that and, was fun. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, we can do this. It's the you know the trail that goes around the actual lake. I was like, oh, it's going to be flat, but it's rated the hardest trail on the thing. It's like five diamonds. But we were like, oh, let's just do it, and we did it. It was fine. It was. I didn't like, agree roots. to it. Just, we just started, yeah. and then like we can't turn back now. We're yeah. a quarter of the it's way happening there. Now. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, you guys decided to do it, and I was like, I right, guess we're doing this. Okay, I'm gonna follow them into the woods because I don't know what else to it do. It wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised none of us like turned an ankle, or I mean, on the whole between the two, you know, both hikes and everything. Um, the rock climbing, but uh, no, it was fun. There was some good, good views on the other side because it looks like there's no water in the lake. But when you get to the far side, there is a good amount of water, and it. it's just brown and at the other end. But, yeah, we went all the and way luckily around. Luckily, we we had we ran into some hikers who took a picture for us. But yeah, I was like, which way did you guys come from? They're like, oh, we just drove. <laughs> <laughs> what happened next? Oh yeah, the um, costume panel. Which no, no, there? the improv first. Well, costume came before improv, right? Yeah. Oh, and there's also mm -hmm. the Reddit meetup. Did anyone? Know no, it the was Reddit the costume. Meetup? It was the costume making. Red, well, Reddit's first, then the costume making panel, and then the costume contest was a lot later. Um, just saying. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How was the Reddit meetup? Did anyone you go? Like that, Jasmine, or is she down here right now? <laughs> I think I think I wandered into the Reddit thing, even though I barely have ever been on Reddit and don't have an account. But it was, if I remember right, it was mostly just like, like Jeff and Jim and the you know the wars and politics of Ice and Fire guys. So, right. Yeah, I think I peeked my head and was like, I don't know anyone in this room, <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> um. Yeah, and then there was the costuming and prop making panel, which was really cool. Um, yeah, I had, was really interesting. I had no intention of making any of it, but it was really fun to look at. And, uh, oh, what's... whoops, I was muted. I went to the Reddit meetup. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just ignoring you, Jess. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's kind of rude. No, no, it was good. Uh, Jeff and Eliana and all of them talked about how, like, the page has grown and, like, they talked about like pre plant like ideas for how to go forward once T Wow comes out. And like spoiler policy and just how to you know, the difficulties with, you know, people inevitably getting spoiled, just you know. I mean, I already plan on just not using the internet for two weeks, just as a precaution, because I got spoiled for Force Awakens, but but yeah, we we talked about that kind of stuff and how it's grown and Jeff was, you know, talking about, you know, the mod and all that stuff and all the essays. So it was a good meetup. Awesome. What well, what was Hodor's name? Josh. Josh. Okay. <laughs> right. Josh from Alabama. That's so funny. <laughs> Hodor's name is Josh. Walder. <laughs> 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 Points for Zach. <laughs> but he uh he really um it, he 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 was very impressive with the he made the Iron Throne and he had like his little brand like fake brand that he would wear on his back and, and like the and the what yeah and this year he even yes. this year he even created an old man <laughs> <laughs> yeah she was the sweetest that was so sweet it, it was amazing apparently she's a regular on another podcast I don't recall the name oh really? cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't really talk to Old Nan, but she was out there dancing late with us, and I was like, <laughs> "You go, girl." She was great. Cool. Well, well, she she was up until the end of the dance. Oh. Yeah. Because we, yeah, at least either, I, I don't know if it was Friday night, but definitely Saturday hour. night. Um, uh, and then, um. There was the improv and comedy hour. Which was the most humbling thing I've ever done. <laughs> I actually tried to do something and realized I have no yeah. talent for it. Yeah, I stood up a couple times and was like, never mind, this is not going to happen. Yeah, I, got, I did one awkward dance round and I sat back down. But, uh, 
Casey did a uh, uh, <laughs> Casey did a full on virtuoso performance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I went there like maybe I'll do this, maybe I won't do it, and then I had like the best experience the ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think Alex was first, right? Alex went. Alex was a bachelor. Yes, Joe was one of them. A week later, <laughs> I don't think that's a good sign. <laughs> So tell us about your experience being a bachelor. I figured after the fact it would have been better to have like a a Jamaican Bolton accent. <laughs> <laughs> what man? You welcome to the dreadful. <laughs> I love that that Jamaica is associated with bobsledding. Now that's like. Full running. That's like the movie of our Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you say that, Greg? Like yeah, I said that yeah. somebody he should just do a Jamaican accent. <laughs> <laughs> it the guy been... who had to play the guy with the uh, who was like afraid to walk had to walk backwards, he was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was really funny. <laughs> um, and then there was like the party guest thing and <laughs> one of the guys was uh, the Davos Fingers dude who was falling asleep at the tourney. So that was really funny. And who else? I mean, I know Casey, but who was the other? My, John was Nancy, my sister was. Well, it was Nancy. Was... Okay, I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, she was, she was tripping on, where, on like Werewood sap or blood. Yeah, yeah and John, you were the host, right? I felt so bad for you, John. You had, we we knew who they were, and you were just like, oh no, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I, I was not very confident in that. And and Casey, do you want to tell who who you were? I was a, a White Walker who was melting constantly. <laughs> so, so I mean, I basically I didn't make any noise. I just fell everywhere a lot. <laughs> But like at one point you were like stalking around and you went down on your knees. And for some reason I thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Yeah, every 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 picture I took of that was like was like, you know, everyone else standing up and then Casey like crawled on the floor. <laughs> I'm looking for like a pic like pictures or a video of that. I haven't seen any yet. But I feel like somebody must have. <laughs> well, they were filming that whole thing, I think, too. right? Yeah. <laughs> That'll probably be in the video. Cool. Uh, but no, that was, that was so fun. <laughs> I was honestly really impressed with the improv overall. <laughs> you know, that can go bad very quickly, but I thought generally it was, it was all yeah, really Yeah, the, the pun, yeah. especially that guy Seth, like he... Like, I, I was assumed they had notes of like, this is what we're going to talk about. Pretend, pretend you don't know ahead of time, but... The, you know, it was a. Uh, I can't come up with that stuff off the top of my head. It was, uh, it was amazing. I think he'd done improv before, Seth. Yeah, no, I was he, talking yeah. to him, like he's he was a fan of improv, and but I don't know if he'd actually done it. But, uh, no, it he was, was good. It was it was it was great. Um. So after we did that, um, we did the tourney on the lawn, where Casey and I got sunburned to heck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I am still a little red. <laughs> My daughter was so upset I had um, signed her up for it. Not because she actually was excited to do it, but then she, when she found out it was in front of people, she was like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. She did so good. Yeah, she was like, her stuff very well. Yeah, yeah. She took out my Brian, so, you know. Yeah, she did. <laughs> I think she was also upset that um, you didn't um, have a go as well. I think she, it was just that <laughs> yeah. she, she got signed up. Well, but, uh, actually, you didn't sign yourself I, up? I did sign myself up, but they had too many people, and they asked if I would withdraw since I had done it before, and I, <laughs> and they knew me, and they knew I wouldn't be that upset, so... I... Um, yeah, but so, did anyone have any, like, favorite parts of the tourney? Because it, it was, uh, it was pretty well run, I think. I thought the whole thing was great, yeah, just the, the heckling and everything, like, it was really, it was really <laughs> awesome. Of course, happy to share 
yeah, I have to shout out Dan as Hostian Prey, the perfect heel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that mayhaps yeah. was great. <laughs> the mayhaps, yeah, the mayhaps. Yeah, I was I was proud when I when I came up with that. <laughs> I actually I actually hadn't signed up for the tourney though. I was surprised to hear John say that because by the table when they were putting it together, and I was like, hey, if you guys have an odd number, throw me in there. Just out of you know, just without even thinking about it, and they're like, "Well, we actually do have an odd number." Well, yeah, we'll put we'll in there. Yeah, we just kicked this guy John out. Now we're <laughs> <laughs> well, I I think what happened is that they were go- they were li- going to limit it to a certain number of people, and, and they were met, they had like one extra early in the week before the week started, and then a bunch of people wanted to sign up when they were there, and they realized they could expand it. So I think that's what actually ended up happening, but yeah, whatever. I, last year I did it, I I feel like I totally was cheated because I hit the guy like three times and the guy said he didn't get hit and the judge never gave it to me and then I ran out of steam and lost. <laughs> it seemed this year they were they had the two judges. Yeah, it was much, much like better with much two better judges. Managed. Although, no, Nancy no got bear poop. Ab- although Nancy yeah. got absolutely whacked in the head and they said, there'll be no warnings and then they immediately said, warning for a headshot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought he was supposed to lose a point for that. She had she had like a a mark on her face the next day too. Oh man! Yeah, I mean, she she took a shot. <laughs> Put it in the survey. Put it in the survey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she did. <laughs> oh yeah, I should still fill that thing out. Um, Five dollars off next year's ticket if you do your survey. Just oh, throwing that out there. Cool. Um. Yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun. I was sitting near you, right, uh, Jasmine, and then like, yeah, Casey. yeah, we were all roasting in the sun. Like yeah. Ashley was in the shade. I'm like, God damn it! I'm like, I'll be Targaryen adjacent because she was in her amazing. I think she's Visenya. Yeah, Visenya. yeah, yeah. 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 She came out with the two swords. Yeah, and um, her fiance was yeah, uh, fiance, Ada. and now a fiance. Yeah, yeah. During the dance party, which I was like, oh my goodness. That was really exciting. No, it was, it was during the Manimals show, actually, I think. Oh, it was? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not so? yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday night. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That's so cute. And they were dressed up as anime characters, and I was just like, what's going on? I had no idea. It was really sweet. <laughs> oh, so they were so they were not, so they weren't anybody from the books. Okay, good. <laughs> well, they were like, apparently <laughs> the, the show they? Yuri on Ice, they were like uh, Yuri Target. They were kind of like Lyanna and Rhaegar versions mm, of those okay, characters okay. and apparently they actually in the show they actually got they pro- the guy proposed in the middle of a crowd just like how it was at the concert so it was very like uh, perfect. Was like, oh, oh. You didn't know it was real until like everyone started crying and then I was like oh my god it was really exciting Aww. <laughs> uh, yeah so who, who ended up winning the tourney I don't remember. oh next star Guy, new guy? I don't yeah, know. no, he the was Ned's... just in a his. The one he... that's the one the that smacked guy, my right? sister. Yeah, he was. I was not rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jasmine, do you know why they didn't do the the um, uh, melee this year? Because uh, is that like a decision, or they just want to do it back to the old way? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's because like we changed the location. I'm not sure why it was just. Well, you mean why there was no archery or? No, like last year it ended where they like all seven were just fighting each other in a ring. I think, right? I think. Yeah, like the top four involved. would fight a melee. Four. Yeah. Yeah, they did that like two years ago, or back in Ravenwood. I remember we did that. I'm not sure. I think things just change. Just like how Snark and Grumpkin changes literally every year. They were probably just Jeremy and Brian just probably decided to just change it up and just make it more tournament style. Gotcha. Probably. Yeah, because I could not work out how that bracket worked because. Like old yeah, people kept confused. fighting new people. It and didn't it was... actually make sense. Uh, yeah. Really, some people Scott, had to... Scott kept turning to me. He's like, "These brackets make no sense." <laughs> it's two out of three. Where's this two out of three come from? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't really matter because the Queen of Love and Beauty was an adorable, like five-week-old puppy. Pippin. It was so cute. Oh my god, it was so cute! And they were a lot of very I got cute to dogs. Pet her. Oh. She was too far away from me, and I didn't pet her. You were right next to me. I know, but it was. I would have to have had to reach, and I didn't want to. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. Okay, I was feeling lazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, any other thoughts on the 
tourney or like early afternoon. Oh, the drone freaked me out because I was being oh my attacked God. by bees for the yeah, first uh, couple yeah. seconds. <laughs> we were like, are there bees? Where are they? <laughs> and like, even after I saw the drone, I like would forget and then would hear that buzzing again and be like, we're all about to die. <laughs> I can't. I think I was talking to Scott about how much like just the sight of a drone kind of makes you want to take it down. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Is that what, why you were throwing rocks at it? <laughs> <laughs> no, my, I was going to say, with like a like slingshot gonna... or what? Like... Well, no, I was I was imagining it would get closer during the melee and I could like backswing accidentally <laughs> and hit it accidentally on purpose, but it never actually got that close. I mean, the footage looks good. Yeah, it's a really yeah. cool video. I watched yeah. the, the one that he put on Facebook. Yep. Um, so after the tourney, um, I, I don't know, was anyone in the photo shoot hour? No. Were we all in the panel? Yeah, um, I definitely was. So there was the, um, Fandom Faves Q&A, which was Jeff, um... Aziz. Aziz. Uh, Butterfly. Was that... Butterfly, yeah. Right. Was that poor Quentin also? Was he in that? Yeah, he was there. And Ashley, um, uh, because Amin, <laughs> Amin was like, I'm too busy with the board game, I can't be in the panel. <laughs> <laughs> so he left Ashley to represent the podcast Device and Fire by herself. Um, it was a really great yeah. panel, um, even though I really didn't follow the two people on the left, but uh, just, I was, uh, I was pretty drunk because I was drinking vodka from like 11 o'clock but I, you know, I got one I got one question in and uh, I was happy that they all answered it so but uh, no it was it was nice to have everybody in the room and and uh, some good questions what did you ask Greg I, I'm sort of I just asked them all to like say who who's gonna be on the iron throne at the end just to have it on the record and uh, mm. two of them were like there will be no iron throne <clears throat> I yeah. managed to get a question in as well I asked them um, about like thinking about your linear reread that you've been doing, um, I asked them about that and the the linear timeline of uh, feast and dance. Mm. Yeah, there were a lot of good questions and stuff. Um, a lot of jokes. It was it was nice because it was very, all very casual and not like, you know, like more like you were having a a big conversation than like a real panel, which I. I enjoy because I've only ever been to like big conventions. It's funny so. because I come from the complete opposite where I'm like, oh, this is a real panel finally. Because <laughs> it's like eight of us sitting around a table, which is great. But I was like, ooh, chairs in a row. This is <laughs> <laughs> big time. We do it big at Americon. But like, it is yeah, really I... interesting to me, like how different different theories develop in different like parts of the fandom. You know, and like there will be like the canon theory in in parts of the fandom that are completely different from other canon theories. So, like, I think it was the, like, the future of the Stark children. Um, I don't remember those girls' names, but, like, they were, like, Sansa is absolutely going to marry Jon. And I was like, have you read the books? <laughs> like, <laughs> Daenerys. Um, but, like, that was their interpretation, you know? And, and like, I think uh, the university people have some also, like, different interpretations than maybe History of Westeros, and it was all very interesting to see no no you're right like <laughs> especially like the like that example too like i i had never heard sansa john before as an idea is that like a show thing i mean people no. ship it in the show but i think they were they were talking about the books johnsa yeah johnsa do do don't do it the don't say it stanza all the way stanza! <laughs> oh my god we have to talk about stannis Oh, yeah, every time people clap for Stannis, I was like, why are all these people clapping for Stannis? Are they, are they Greg, you should have been like, my people. I it was, was happy, of course, but she kept looking, she's like, well, I guess it is more than just you. <laughs> it was a little bit obsessive, okay? <laughs> there was this one well, guy they, dressed as Stannis, and everybody was, like, obsessed with him. There's still hope for him in the books. Yeah. yeah. Not really. Ah. But... Uh, yeah, so that panel was awesome, and then uh, then everything kind of went very quickly from there. Yeah, we kind of just like we took our right. We did that. Um, 
That was oh, a lot of fun. this when they marched us all down the hill and then marched us back up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> right, because we were going to yeah. take, we take a group picture and then uh, we were going to take it outside. It so everybody went outside, but it was raining. So then we went back inside and had to move all of the chairs in the ballroom. As I thought, uh, taking that photo, I'm completely invisible in it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever it's made it product. into a photo. I'm always the, there like, at the end, and then someone's... You can right see, like, there. half the my crust head. of your hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Trials of being a tall person. Not no, quite. This, this year, I actually got in because I, like, hopped in the front. Mark. I'm, like, kneeling down in the front, right? At, and I just hopped in at the last second, so I'm, I'm actually visible for this, the first time. You can see McCall and I in the front, I think. My face looks like really big compared to like everybody else. <laughs> I I had a feeling I was going to be visible because as a short person you do wind up at the front. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. KK and KK and Tara like both just laid out in front was hilarious for me for some reason when I saw her it. Grandpa Aries was Well cool. yeah, right cuz KK oh, yeah. was already in her costume. <laughs> she was talking about tickle time. I was dying. Oh, so I know funny. that was awesome. When did the uh, the David and Dan song happen? When was that? That was during the costume parade and show. The okay. performance portion it was so yeah. funny. That was amazing. I thought it was so good. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't I know what they were. Are they just like it. '80s characters, or but then it, then it all made sense. I know. I like. I thought at first she was gonna be like like Cersei post walk with her short hair, and then I was like, because Tara dresses up as Cersei all the time, and then um and then they like put on the the jackets and i was like oh that was yeah Andy. that was really funny but so then there was also the clegane bowl rap <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, the continuation two. part two <laughs> that was amazing that was really amazing yeah it was now the first year they um what's the guy's name who played who was the uh, the hound uh uh mo Oh, yeah. did, the first time he did that, did Dom know that he was going to do it, or was it completely like, um, this is just my response? Or was I think it was, like, last year when it happened, it was completely, like, out of the blue, I think. Because I thought it was, but uh, this year, I could, yeah, I was wondering if there was going to be a part two to that. <laughs> Thanks for posting the pics, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a professional, uh, professional dog pic right there. Yeah. Yeah. You got my face, you can see me. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to find Zach now. Hey, where's, where's Zach? Zach? Oh, behind behind Greg. Greg. There you go. <laughs> 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 yeah. Greg. That, <laughs> that is about two thirds of your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see everybody. And Aziz is just like falling over in the front, right? <laughs> yeah, because he wasn't going to be in the picture, and we're like, Aziz, join the picture. <laughs> uh, You're like responsible for sharing all these pictures and videos on whatever finished product this is. I see. I decided to do thumbs up in the photo. Nice. Very unique. Oh wait, no. Everybody's everybody's like waving and stuff, so I'm not the weird one. Uh, so then we, some of us went to Trivia of Ice and Fire. <laughs> I ran it, which was so funny. Oh god, I was just shitting on Jeff the whole time. He was just being such an asshole. <laughs> so. And I'm like, you realize I'm grading these, right? But no, he didn't win anyway. So, so Jasmine, quick question on that trivia: Did the uh, one for the TV version was it a perfect score that won? Uh, um, I'm trying to remember. No, I, I think the th best score was the first game. I think it got. I think it was like one or two off. I, I forget exactly. But all of them, all the all the winners were like. They missed like one or two names or something like points. So but yeah, I hope you guys like trivia. I mean, it was those questions were hard. I don't oh. even do it anymore. No, it was good. Like, yeah. No, I just hated the fact like I literally the first year is like I'm driving 12 hours to play Ice and Fire on trivia, and this year is like let's have dinner. It was fine, and then of course yeah. it got over, and and we we missed the first round. But those questions we were they were terrible. terrible anyway. We had no chance. No, we knew, Casey was uh, knew what? the Mormon one, and, and we're like, no, you're a lady, you don't know oh, that. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks guys. I knew one fucking answer. <laughs> yeah, Dan actually and knew a like, lot, and I was like sitting there across from the like university people, being like, we're not gonna know anything, and like getting each of the questions and going like, I don't know, and then like, and then Dan was just like writing down answers. I was like, oh my god, you know stuff, yay! <laughs> we still didn't win, but that's fine. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was I was glad I knew a couple. There was one question I was so happy that I got, and I can't remember. Oh, what was it? I was somewhere. happy about the Knight of Seashells. That's the one, yeah. yeah. Was, and now I've drawn a blank on his on his fucking name, but I got it. <laughs> so Reynold Westerly. Reynold, yeah, yeah. I was like, is it Reynold or Reynold? But, uh, Those didn't sound different. <laughs> <laughs> the D on the end. Reynold, right? Reynold? Reynold? Did anyone know like who gave uh, Daenerys her dragon crown? That was really difficult for me. Tourmaline Brotherhood. I got that one, right? Is that right? Yeah, we, Did we ever find out? I think we were. Yeah, right. that. Well, I read the answer, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, right. Tara, what's that? Yeah, that that we knew that, it was it was either that one or the Guild of Spicers. I think we picked the wrong one. Yeah, we did. Zach tried to convince me like it's the Spicers. Like, no, they're no, two. No, I was made a crown. <laughs> You're telling a false story, Greg. <laughs> I remember you mentioning the Spicers. At I was just going through the options. <laughs> So have you guys already talked? Uh, are you just going through in like order of cool things that were uh, done at the con? Yeah, we're yeah. kind of going through the schedule. Do you have any highlights from? We're almost done with Saturday, but do you have any highlights from Friday or Saturday? Uh, well, I sent Danny a note saying bad fan fiction rules because <laughs> <laughs> I people were hilarious this year. I mean, last year was funny, but this year was even better. I gotta say, I think that's one of my favorite events of just everybody's creativity. N- Nancy, do you have your version of it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Can you email a copy or scan it and <laughs> send it? Sure, I'll, uh, I'll dig it out and transcribe, I bet. I, it's somewhere in my luggage, but yeah, I'll, I'll want- share that, I'll share that gem with everyone. I want to say KK had, like, got most of it on video. I think Actually, she said something like that. Yeah, you're right. She sent, like, a Facebook message saying that she did. All right. We're all here. We can just perform it again for John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we should play it on the forums, because it was really fun. Well, that should be an episode. Yeah, maybe for maybe for April Fool's next year. We'll do bad fan <laughs> fiction. <laughs> Full castle recording. <laughs> <laughs> Full castle recording. No, our, our, ours was awesome. Like, the, the winner was great, too. But we had G-rated Euron as ours because to obey the fanfiction rules, you really can't write Euron in any sort of appropriate fashion. Yeah, that was really, really funny. And, every, I, like, it was the type of thing that got funnier every time you said G-rated Euron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you we needed to repeat it every time, Danny. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Uh, and Alex, you came up with that originally, right? And that's, or was it Zach? It was one it was of you Alex. guys. It was Alex. rated your as my idea, but I didn't write most of the dialogue. I'm just an idea guy. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he did the treatment. We handled the script. Also, Alex is funny because like every Alex has everything like it's an understatement. So like after he talks, you have to kind of parse what he says, and it's like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the room is on fire. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah. So after trivia, which none of us won, um, there was the finale panel, which was the uh, Game of Thrones versus Song of Ice and Fire, um, which obviously I've never been to Ice and Fire Con before, but given past accounts... It sounded to me like there was the most robust defense of Game of Thrones that there has been yet. Would that be accurate? Was it? Was it? I felt like the way that panel went played out to me was shit on Game of Thrones for like an hour and then say it's still, you know, it's a good show still. <laughs> That's how it felt to me. <laughs> but like Jeff seemed like he was so it was Jeff, oh, yeah. Tara and Aziz. Right. And like Jeff definitely seemed like he was trying to like Yeah. Probably just to piss everyone off, but like you know, support the show and Jeff pissed people off. I know, right? <laughs> what <laughs> crazy? <laughs> well, Aziz Aziz was pretty even-handed with it, which I actually went back and and listened to some of their um, their podcasts about the se- the shows of the last season, and they do do a really good job of pointing out things of like beautiful music and cinematography shots that when I think back, I'm like, yeah, actually, that did look awesome. You know, maybe Littlefinger has a time travel machine, but the music in that part piece was actually really cool. So, 
Yeah. I thought no, that was, I, I appreciated that. Yeah, I like listening to them a lot. And I, I mean, as much as I, like, hated season five with the fiery passion of a thousand suns, um, <laughs> I did think that season six was pretty good, um, personally. But it was it was just an interesting dynamic in there because you could tell people were like gearing up to like hate on the show, and then there were a couple people like standing out going like, no, no, it's like you know, I understand why they did this, this, and 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 this, you know. <laughs> I think it just yeah. really contrasted what like you know as this vassals normally do for our show reviews, which is pretty much shit on everything. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I actually felt like it was like much like you know more show nice, I guess. <laughs> I think that was also the panel was that the panel where they ended up talking about how Ned Stark was a horrible father no yes. that uh, no, no. was no, that, that the was first the, one the Q&A that was, the thing. Brent, that was the Q&A one yeah. Ah. yeah that was the future of the Stark children I think and I thought they were actually way harsh on Ned oh my god <laughs> yeah, me too. too yeah I was, like, boiling a little bit from the parent hate and I was like okay calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was one panel where um, uh, a guy, I think it was his first his first con, he was dressed as one of the Dothraki that brought up that uh, the similarities kind of between Arya's arc potentially and what he saw in, like, Count of Monte Cristo style, vengeance being the hand of the, hand of the, the powers that be that I thought was a really interesting observation. Because we all know, I mean, Martin has drawn on this for real history, but I'm sure he's also been influenced by other classical literature that any writer would have read. Yeah, no, I, I did, I did, like, I like that idea. I don't really, like, buy it practically. I don't think Arya is the hand of the gods. I think she's an angry, hurt little girl acting of her own volition. Um, but, like, I do like the parallel, because, you know cool parallel <laughs> <laughs> exactly she might seem a little more hand hand of the godsy when she's riding a wolf though I'm just saying <laughs> yes that will definitely happen that would definitely fit with the the gods of the north vengeance and and death so, I think at this time we were having the uh champ- championship uh, board game while that panel was going on <clears throat> yes and um Instead of the Battle of the Bastards, it should have been called the Battle of the Buffoons. Yeah. I, <laughs> oh, I, I made the first big bonehead. We each did, but uh, yeah, I made every the first person made stuff. such a terrible bonehead blunder. You're like, how did we ever win the previous round? Yeah. I ended up in, in, in Lannisport somehow by the end of the game. <laughs> But, but Scott won, me. right? It was Scott who won, right? Yeah, Scott won as well. Yes, nice yeah. Canadian Scott won. <laughs> well, I gotta check off, out, guys. Um, I I got something I gotta do here. So um, nice talking to you. See you Thanks, next John. Time. Yeah, Thank you, John. Have a good John. one. Bye, John. Yeah. Thank next you year. for Secret Targaryen. It was fun. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so actually, speaking of Secret Targaryen, I retired from that game on Friday night. <laughs> the game was really intense on on Saturday night. So. Yeah, I was I was kind of like I'm I'm done. I don't well, we I did, don't need this. We did Cards Against Westeros, which was really awesome. Yeah, which Mihal won. Yeah, I did win. Well, so hang on, let's go let's go back though. There was the award ceremony. Again, I don't think anyone here won. Um, the Faceless Man <laughs> game. Um, um, um. Yeah, Kevin. Oh, got I'm their sorry. Face. I'm sorry, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Why don't you? Yeah. yeah. What was your prize? me, Chris, and Chris's wife? Yeah, we we won the um, the the show part of the trivia, which I'm not sure if that's too um, too much to brag about, but yeah, we no, we did drag win. Away. Well, none of us what won was, it. What, so. what prize did you get? Um, uh, a notebook from. 2015. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still have it. Yeah, an Ice and Fire kind of notebook from 2015. Nice. I will also say... Also, Dragon Rights? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chris told me that you were the one answering all the questions. So. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah I, I got a few right. Uh, oh, just then... a couple. You're, you're so humble. <laughs> Come on, you won. <laughs> uh, actually, it was Chris's wife that probably came up with the, the best answer. Um, 
that kind of I reckon cinched us the the victory. To be fair, so I think full kudos for her really. What was that was one? That? It was um, the the sigils with the the moon in, and obviously the Aaron was quite easy. Um, but we couldn't get the the next one, and she literally looked around the room, saw the the, the Tarf <laughs> banner, and said, "It's Tarf." And we're like, "What? Where did we get that from?" <laughs> I mean, as soon as she said it, we knew. As soon as she said it, we knew. And then, she goes, oh, it's it, it's on the back wall. <laughs> and we was like, "Oh, excellent, excellent." Yeah. So I did know House Winch, but I knew they weren't in the show, so I didn't think they'd accept that. But I did have yeah. another Moon Sigil ready. Yeah, I mm. also looked at the poster. I was like, "Well, there are moons on Tarth, so." Let's yeah. do that. <laughs> but yeah, Kevin actually is very modest because I was like, "Oh, you should come on the podcast." He's like, "Oh, I don't know. I don't have anything to say." And I was like, "We don't have anything to say." <laughs> don't burst his image. Don't you listen? <laughs> In the um, when Tara was announcing the results, she also read like some of the um, like I don't know, but I'm going to write something funny answers, which. I don't remember any of them specifically right this moment, but I remember thinking they were hilarious. So points for creativity to whoever got those shout outs. Someone wrote a long thing about Helga Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, there was a Harry Potter themed one. I, no, they wrote no like spoilers, a, like, no spoilers, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, some of the answers were so funny and I was just like, wow, these I mean these people are very clever. But yeah. We'll keep doing that in in future years, keeping the really funny answers. Because I remember last year I was in tears because some of the stuff you guys were coming up with was so funny. Oh, I think naming the dragons or something. People just came up with like random <laughs> dragon names, <laughs> or um, instead of like what was it, sheep stealer? They came up with something else, and I was dying. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. That's what I'll do next year when I don't know the answer. <laughs> just Rick roll. Just Rick roll every answer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so then there was, uh, did anybody have any success with the Faceless Man game? <laughs> Zach thought he did. Right? <laughs> oh, well, I killed I killed somebody, but they didn't have the paper, because uh, they showed up late, okay. I think, so. And then I was promptly murdered right after that. <laughs> <laughs> Rip that's, my, that's my story on the Faceless Man game. And I, I kept trying to protect Casey, because, like, this guy walked up to me and was like, are you Casey? And I was like, no. And he, he was like, <laughs> and he was like, well, could you tell me who she is? Because I'm her, like, I'm her assassin. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so I was like, tell me. She's that guy like, over there with the beard. <laughs> I wanted to do that. But so I kept being like, I kept being like, Casey, that's him, that's him. And she was like, oh yeah, that's fine. And I'm like, she went to get a drink or something. And walked well, back. And she's like, I got murdered. Yeah, I didn't know what to do because I got my first person, and then she was like, "So the person that I have isn't here," and I was like, "Oh, well, that's weird and awkward." So I just kept on holding on mine, and you, then you told me about the guy. So I was like, at this point, I was like, oh, "Okay, I, I guess if he gets me, I don't have to worry about it anymore." <laughs> so <laughs> so um, he got me while I was looking at the silent auction stuff that I was trying to win that I didn't end up winning. But uh, yeah, yeah, did anyone win anything in the silent auction? No. I want a Martell, the Martell uh, wall hanging, which Ooh, says I'm out nice. of unbroken, but it works in our house, though. Very nice. nice. I, won, uh, I won Pride because someone actually bought the beer that I made. Oh, and raved oh. about it. Yeah, and, like, tracked me down afterwards to rave about it, and, like, <laughs> I think they thought that I, like, had, like, a semi-professional brewery or something because they're, like, asking me, like, well, how can you get us more of this? <laughs> so, that was, uh, Definitely a ego boost. Jasmine, I think he was talking to us about um, how your house is half divided with Star Wars stuff. And yes. you're trying to reclaim everything back. Yeah, because my our house, when you walk in, it's like all Star Wars. We have like tons of le- like the fancy expensive Legos and like some Game of Thrones. And, like I have a Harry Potter bathroom and that's it. And my wand. That's all I have in my house. So I'm trying to reclaim my house. Brian's not listening because he has his headphones in right now, but... <laughs> I'm never cleaning the house back. But yeah, we have our ice and fire pets because we have Duncan Targaryen, the cat, and Summer Stark, the dog. So Aww. our house is we're really nerdy, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. I mean, I go to I volunteer at Ice and Fire Con, like, whew. Uh. Yeah, oh yeah, we forgot to mention summer. that. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Summer's my dog. Oh god, I was probably screaming at her. She was barking. <laughs> but um, so we changed the bar name. I think what did they ended up calling it? I forget. They let us change the bar and change the signature drinks to Ice and Fire Con stuff. Ice and Fire stuff. Oh, yeah. I had, like, a <laughs> Sapphire Isle, um, which was a, a blueberry mojito, which was delicious. Yeah, I had the... There was the Red Woman and the Red Waste. One of them was tequila, one of them was rum. One of them was the mojito, one of them was the tequila. <laughs> I mixed it up the first time. I'm like, I don't like tequila. So I just gave it to Brian. So. But I had tequila later anyway, because Skelly Skellington... Which you guys should all partake, just to enjoy the, just to go to the experience, because it's a lot of chanting, talking about Skelly, you know. I'll have to find that next year, because to kill yeah, next year, Thurs- Thursday night, Good. Skelly. Just, yeah, Thursday night is officially Skelly night. Just walk outside and listen to, like, for loud people, and that's likely the Chicago cabin. <laughs> bears, yeah, that's bears, how I got there on bears, Thursday night, bears. We just followed people. Yeah, just say bears and someone from Chicago will be like, bears? <laughs> My people. Maybe that's something we need next year is some sort of Marco Polo game based on people saying bears. <laughs> I mean, I guess the New York contingent could be the Fossilways. Apples, apples, apples. <laughs> we have to have something cooler than apples. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say you could, but... <laughs> but that would be awful and lame, yeah. <laughs> You'd just be the high towers, I guess. I guess we could be the high towers. That's oh, because of the Freedom Tower? Or because of the buildings? Okay. I just meant buildings. <laughs> I didn't mean buildings. That was really shitty. <laughs> we got buildings. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so yeah, so after that, after all that, um... I don't know, Zach and Casey and I went back to our room and kind of just chilled and talked for a little bit. And then I think people were playing more games downstairs. Because then eventually I went downstairs and people were playing games. That's where I was schmoozing. Yeah. Were there any highlights from the um, the Cards Against Westeros? Because I didn't play in that at all. It was It was funny. It was really funny. How did you manage that with, like, a dozen people? There were a lot of cards. Yeah. What did you play till? How many? To five? or? I think, I, think I won with six or seven. I mean, people came in and out like Ash, and her friends left after a little while. Um, and then Kevin came in after a bit, and then... Yeah. Did you remember the girl that came in as a substitute for Tilia? Um, won her, like, three or four, and then took up the role of somebody else. Oh, yeah. Almost um, blazed it. Yeah, she technically, like, won the Tabitha. most, but, like, you played with different people, like, all around. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you didn't win, Miho. <laughs> no, I did win! <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely did win, because all right, all right. my last card was, what was it, Dragon Come? And then, like... Yeah. <laughs> and I, I knew I was going to win with that one, so I went with that one. <laughs> you were just about to leave as well, wasn't you? Yeah, I was like, okay, I'm exhausted. Because Greg was like, oh, we're going to leave at, like, 8.30 in the morning. And I was yeah. like, okay, I'll I'll go to bed early. I'll, like, make sure I'm packed and be responsible and stuff. Um, well, that was that was contingent on, on me driving the whole time. But once I realized I could let you drive and I could sleep in the, in the passenger seat, yeah. that, that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then I went up to bed, I don't know, like, midnight, a little after. And then... And People then we were had still the playing Targaryen. And then everybody yeah. made fun of Greg for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the yup moment. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Which is still, I didn't say yup, I just made a noise. <laughs> the recording says oh. otherwise. Yeah, it's because you want it to be up. It's like you want it to be there. But it's, it's no, just like, I, I, don't hear, I don't hear yup there. I'm, I'm with Greg on this one. Oh, ah. boo. So, no one on the grassy knoll. We gotta keep it going, guys. <laughs> you the umbrella? Nice. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, any, and did anybody stop by the party also? Was... I was at yeah. the party. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness. It's good you're here, Jasmine, because the rest of us would just be like, <laughs> we, we play board, board games. to go to the party, <laughs> but nobody <laughs> else wanted to go to the party. Josh no, Danny and I went. Casey, it was like... It was like five feet away. You could have gone to the party. <laughs> yeah, we no, went after con- Secret Targaryen was over. The costumes were the best part because Josh, who's Hodor, rolled in as 
I think he was Marvin Martian Manhunter. I forget how what his he was basically Martian uh, Marvin Martian, but he was like Marvin the the Maester. Yeah, he was. Yes, yeah. so amazing. And I was uh, what was I? I was Misty Tully <laughs> because Tara and KK were uh, Team Casterly Rocket. So. I love puns so much. So, yeah, at then, one point, I, I had to ask Dom. I was like, Dom, what are what is Tara and KK? And he, he explained. I was like, I still don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was too Pokemon. touchy. Rocket. The Bryans were the Briumvirate. Uh, they were the you know the tri- you know they were the Briarch of Atlantis. They were the Briarch of Brolantis. <laughs> yeah. They had like tiger chains. It was so corn. It was awful. I. They loved it. I was I was drinking a lot because of them. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were so growish. They were like those. They, they were basically like Jersey Shore types. It was so funny. I, yeah, they well, were amazing costumes. Well, your Brian, your Brian somehow won the Briarchy because I remember at one point in the night chanting one true Brian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't remember Brian the context. I just remember right chanting now. one true Brian. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, Brian one got. Brian drunk and he was sent to bed. Brian too <laughs> disappeared, so my Brian was the only Brian remaining. So he is the one true Brian. <laughs> it was kind of funny seeing like people walk by, like clearly, extremely drunk. Like at one point, somebody sat down, I think, to play Cards Against yeah. Monsters, yeah. and, and then he like Ed bolted was. up and he was like, "I was raving," <laughs> and like went back to the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was really what family's do- nemesis do? <laughs> but one of the Dothraki was walking around with one of those like giant glass, like several gallons of cheap oh, red wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I passed on that one. He tried offering that to us right at the end. I said, I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and I remember Ashley was uh, was George again, which was hilarious. That was awesome. Yeah, you heard George was great without the beard, but it was hot. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. The whole place was hot. My room was like I could barely sleep. It was really, really hot. I think there's no air conditioning. I think that's what the thing. Yeah, there's no air conditioning at those type of hotels. I guess. Yeah. It was. Yeah. I like had to sleep with the window open, and obviously there were some quite rowdy people outside. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I have to get up at seven thirty. Leave me alone. <laughs> um. Yeah. But then the next morning. I mean, we we pretty much like had breakfast and left. Did anybody stay for the future of Ice and Firecon? Jazz, did you? Yeah, it was just kind of like a wrap up. They explained that we're like moving to Ohio because we've already outgrown this location since we sold out like every single. I think we sold out every single room except for like two cabins in the 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 Blueberry Ridge. I think everything was sold out. Was just uh, our people, so we're moving to a new location that's much easier for um. Um, out of like people like Kevin, it's a lot easier to fly into Columbus than it is to the r- little Roanoke. It's less expensive and stuff. So it's not easier for me. I'm very annoyed that they're moving. I really like Mountain Lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as a BC person, I was a little annoyed too. But yeah, I, it's oh, fun. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> What's in well, an extra hour? It's an extra hour. <laughs> you have to drive six hours. Well, I, I was via um, New York as well, because I actually spent a couple of days in New York first oh, before moving yay. on to Virginia. So. Oh, yeah, I yeah. remember you talking about that. It was like a trip that you bought your niece. Yeah, it was my niece's Christmas present from me. So. And you went to Ice and Fire Con. Happy, happy <laughs> yeah, Christmas. And then, I, and then I abandoned her, yeah. <laughs> a little for her, a little for me. Yeah, that was it. New York was for her, yeah, Virginia for me. I have to I have to go into the mountains and meet the nerd people <laughs> <laughs> of the Americas. <laughs> uh, drive through the Trump supporters. <laughs> that was a, yeah, every time we we pass like a billboard, me I'll just look just like. Ugh. <laughs> Some people like literally burned it into their barns. It's like now you just have Trump burnt into your barn roof forever. <laughs> <laughs> They know how to replace the barn roof. Dogs. They're hardy middle of Americans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't that hardy. <laughs> <laughs> well, is the new place going to have um, kind of the ability, like cabins again, to, yeah. to get our late night partying away from other people? 
Yeah, there are cabins and there's a lodge. Um, it's called it Pier like the Steak Park. Steak. It looks like the cabins are a lot further away, though, from what I was looking at on the map. Like, there's a couple um, that are close, but... There's, like, pit groupings of eight. I think KK said, um, I forget. It's, like, a five-minute walk, and then eight-minute walk, and then... Is that it? Yeah. And then there's another set. I think total, like, maybe, like, ten minutes from the lodge to the furthest, furthest cabins. Mm. Um, yeah. But yeah, tickets go on sale in like a couple weeks. So get your tickets. <laughs> yes. Deer Park Deer Yeah. Deer Park State Deer Deer, Deer Creek, Creek State? Deer Creek State I said Park. State. Yes. State yeah. Park. That's what it is. Um Yeah. I, I mean I'm sure that like a lot even more people I think I mean I know I, I spoke to um Yoke Boy from Radio Westeros and he was like really kicking himself that he couldn't couldn't he and Lady Gwen yeah. couldn't make it? And he was like, "We're really gonna try next year." Um, we brought them up a lot. We talked about them a lot. I know. I told them I was like, "I was like, you were totally there in spirit because we kept talking about you." Um, but they were Baltimore yeah. last year, so yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Any any last uh, last thoughts? It was, I mean, you know, where Dirty Dancing was filmed, Mountain Lake. Nope. So just minus the lake. Just like, yeah. <laughs> I know bit, it was a little bit of muddy like it was funny because like the pictures were so pretty it was like bright blue sky and bright green grass and then like this like m mud hole <laughs> yeah. it was a really awesome experience it was my first con um so I think most most of us here it wasn't your first um but I had a really awesome time yeah I, I did as well it was a obviously uh great meeting everybody and it was so good how everybody kind of welcomed new people into their groups into their little into their little circles and stuff like that yourselves more than most i believe but everyone was more than willing to just come up and speak to you i mean again i was just sitting around when jasmine just came up and said oh hi how you doing and stuff like that as well which was, I was great like, oh my god he has an accent <laughs> <laughs> i may have been drinking but i don't know Oh, that was standard order. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we loved all the new people. Actually, there were more new people than old people. We had, That's like, thought, 190 too, yeah. people, and it was mostly new people. And, like, it was... This, I think, was the best con. It was just everything clicked. Like, everyone... We had all of our, like, fun inside jokes, and everyone... You could kind of pick your own adventure. Like, if you're not a big drinker, hang out with the board great game crew, or talk... Well, hold on. We, we, we were we drinking. Have been drinking. <laughs> we were definitely we're drinking. drinking. Blackout <laughs> alcoholics, like some people. <laughs> I wonder if I was the only person who did not drink at all. Wait, I don't think that's true. I think someone else doesn't drink. Ashea doesn't drink. Boom. Oh, okay. That's There's good to know. Else. I'm not sure if Amin drinks, either. No, I mean, no, no, I mean, doesn't. Oh, no. no, but yeah, he, he came does, out he with us on Saturday. I was like, oh shit, a means out 3 30 in the morning. I need to go to bed. If a means <laughs> out. <laughs> I, I, I don't I like, actually think a means sleeps, does he? <laughs> I don't know. He's <laughs> like, according to Facebook, use. he's always on a date. So. Oh my god. Yeah, yes. Yes. I am a mean. He's always on date. <laughs> I mean, he's cute, so. <laughs> yeah. I have such a con crush on him. I never know what to say to him. He's so cool. Like, I'm really good friends with Ashley, but I just can't talk to Amin. <laughs> That's funny, because, I, I mean, I've met Amin before at San Diego Comic-Con, and, like, I I was actually very intimidated by Ashley, because, like... Oh, she's so sweet! No, she was so sweet, but, like, I felt, I felt like, awkward, because she was so, like, put no, together. She's so, she's so beautiful. She's like, I was like, oh, you're so beautiful. I don't know what else to say to you right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're too pretty to be a podcaster. <laughs> yeah, it's weird when you hear their voices and then you see them in person. Like, wow, this is weird. Yeah. Like, I remember that was like my first Dice and FireCon experience the first year I went where I walked in and immediately I heard Amin talking. And I was like, I know that voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also shout out to people who couldn't make it this year, like Thomas, who yeah. we all wanted to meet, all of us newbies. Yeah, but hopefully next year. And Amber. And Amber! Amber, get your ass to Ice and Fire Con! Yeah. This convention was, like, built for you. you! Everybody can go. Oh my god, Bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we were talking about what Bina would be like in Mountain Lake. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much Bina would like the wilderness. That's what that was our discussion. <laughs> Uh, maybe we could Skype her in time next year. year. I think the 26th through the 29th of April next year. Deer Creek State Park. Yeah, I'm thinking I might fly because that is like. It's an additional hour than uh, Ravenwood was. So, like, yeah, I'm going to fly. Yeah. Just uh, rent, a, rent a VOK jet. We can. Hop on together. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, Jet. I'll shit. I'll fly up to you. If you're doing that charter flight. <laughs> Everybody we'll be in New York. Four and we'll more take the bookstores flight over. by next year. I'll, I'll I'll charter a plane, but uh, no promises. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's what you we need to be for. Yeah, we could get Bina to charter us a plane. Charge it to the CBRE account. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. So, any any last thoughts? I think we, we were maybe tossing around the idea of doing some kind of performance or, like, cosplay next year that was a little more. I would be so involved. down for that. Yeah. House Man Woody? Or Sand Woody? Or we all dress up as penis. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Not, that is, I don't remember <laughs> discussing that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, that reminds me. Uh, shout out to Amin for the House Man Woody battle armor. Oh my, oh my god. The hotel made us bring it into the basement because I, I forgot we were in the deep south. I'm like, oh, whoops. <laughs> Not the deep south. We're in like the northern south. <laughs> oh, it's Virginia. Well, Mississippi it's still would have been south. a lot worse. I mean, they have their. They have their you know. Look, they thought we were Satan worshippers, okay? So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that they had an issue with condoms. They're like, we're being safe, though. Well, Zach, <laughs> like that. You don't want us to reproduce, right? We're Satan worshippers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was that night, like, Zach, like, was like, hey, Michal, did you see this? And, like, picked one up and dropped it in my hand, and I was like, damn it, Zach. <laughs> no, Chris did that to me. Chris was like, Greg, did you get your arm? I was like, oh, what's that? I just went over and grabbed one. I was like, oh, oh, now I have to put this in my pocket and walk away. <laughs> that was the thing take it to the top of the mountain. <laughs> Wink. That was the thing that was weird about the hotel getting mad, is that it wasn't obviously condoms. They heard us talking about it, though. Uh, I think some of them were falling really out of the packaging also. Mm-hmm. So. Well, yeah, because Ashley didn't... KK was like, tell me, Ashley, you didn't actually staple the condoms themselves. Because they're like... Oh. <laughs> 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 I was very concerned. I was dying. Oh, my God. <laughs> So in nine months, if anyone has a baby, then we'll know. That's a fan fiction all of its own. <laughs> oh, man. So Four let's... people do need to think about performances, right? Because only yeah. four four people did performances this year. And no one there was Donald. way more. Yeah. I would have so. to be insanely drunk to do a performance, so it had to be very simple or no lines for me. That can be arranged. Yeah. You can arrange the alcohol. <laughs> All right. Greg, I'll take you to the Chicago Boys Cabin, and then we'll just liquor you up and send All you right. a back. <laughs> or if you're good at writing things, write a performance for somebody else to do. We'll see. I told Dan, Dan needs to write me a rap to go for being a Mormon. <laughs> for being a Mormon? Right. Yeah. We were, we were rooting for you, by the way. <laughs> I mean, also, everybody was rooting for the Mormons because the, of the Bears contingent again, but, yeah. Most popular character, I think, at, at the con. Yes. Anything to do with the Bears. <laughs> Ditka. Ditka, sorry. <laughs> I missed the, the con. Bears. <laughs> oh, Bears. So anyone want to add anything else, or we'll sign off? Just, uh, just a shout-out to, you know, Tara and KK for doing this shit. Yes. Thank yeah. you, guys. <laughs> Uh huh. If they're listening, yeah. Well, still, even even <laughs> still, they're, they're not listen. listening. Yeah. 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 I no, totally did a great it. job. Kate liked it, so I'm sure she'll look it up later. It's just it's also a very nice like welcoming environment. Like you don't feel like I mean I felt awkward because I was around new people, so my default setting is feeling awkward. But like I felt like everyone was very friendly and like they really made an effort to have everybody be nice and. I, I, on, like completely honestly, like I, this was like the most comfortable social setting I've felt in like a very long time, even not drinking. So it was really, <laughs> you know, 
No, it was great. Like, Mikhail, Mikhail, sorry, I don't feel it's too late. That's okay. It's fine. I was like, oh my God, she writes for Hyperbole. Because I was like, oh my God, I've known about you for like years. And I'm like, oh my God, she's finally here. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I was like, Brian, I need to talk to her. And you're like, he was like, okay, Jasmine, I'm so fucking weird. <laughs> but I am. But I don't know. This year, just everything clicked. It was like, it was such a great time. I'm so happy. Like, all the new people felt welcomed and like, didn't feel awkward because you know we're all like one big family like we all like love each other and we love to drink and talk about george and bitch about the show occasionally <laughs> occasionally and talk about star wars stuff that doesn't even relate to ice and fire i think that's the best is all the stuff that comes like that's not even related at all yeah exactly all right so yeah again if you want more information on ice and fire con go to ice and fire and if you want more information about the vassals of kingsgrave you could find us at vokpodcast.wordpress.com or dot com if the url is still going there um you can find going. us it's still there zach yep okay awesome thank you um you can find us at uh uh, the podcast Vice and Fire forums. You can find us all over social media and dating sites and just dating various... sites. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're on. What was it like? Twindler or yeah. something? <laughs> <laughs> the like Twindler. It's Grindler. <laughs> I guess I've been out of the dating game for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, if you need to find us, you could definitely find us and come to Ice and FireCon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. It's okay, you're welcome for our Darth Maul King of the Night. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, come to think of it. Honestly, we can go on and on. We can destroy every theory you're hoping on. The whites, the bricks, the martells. Did we forget to ruin anyone else? We killed Mama Stark, slit her throat apart. But no, you will never get Lady Stoneheart. What is the lesson? What makes us counterfeits? We cut the story and then zoom in on the tits. And the accolades that we have won? It's a sign there's still work to be done. Spin out some prequels. We're just now starting. While you readers keep waiting for Mark, Mark, Mark.